Well, hello again, folks. It's Alan from airgunsworld.com. Got a new video for you. I'm going to show you some Gamo products. Man, I just love Gamo pistols. So I want to show you what I did here to one of them. This one in particular. This is the SOCOM PT-85. This is also a PT-85. Now, it came, of course, with this piece. One on the gun like that. And then you mount the little uh, red dot uh, sight on it. And this thing would wiggle. You could never get it still. It'd wiggle side to side like that. So this is the result of my grouping with that. Some of you might have done better, but this is about as good I can get. This thing just never, even if you sight it in and you lay it down, it's going to move. <clears throat> so I did freehand. I took it off and did freehand just without that. That's what I did freehanded, the middle one there. All right? A little better than with the scope. So then I did all this. I uh, took some parts off of here, actually the side rails. Drilled the holes into the... Uh, fake suppressor here mounted it and it's straight dead on and I'm telling you man look with this there's my group right there that's about uh, 20 feet so we went from that freehand to that doing what I did here so we're gonna do a little shooting of it today just to show you and this thing is just awesome got a little nose heavy but uh it doesn't matter it's accurate and I also wanted to show you the pellets I've been shooting so these are uh premieres they're uh, hitting uh, over 500 man I should have brought my list I forgot I had a whole list of all my feet per second stuff from the crony but I do know that uh, the Barracudas hit uh, let's see they were, they were hitting 540 I think but these right here the Crossman SSPs they're four grains they hit 628 feet per second with this thing right and this was uh, of course slower they're heavier lead but if you add them all up you know these are faster these are the slowest but all in all uh, they ranged from 2.3 to 2.5 foot pounds and all of them so they're all pretty much equal you know speed is kinda cool but the foot pounds is really close on all of them you know you get a heavier here heavier and slower faster and lighter but if you add the speed you know it's uh, the foot pounds are going to be equal so uh, I kind of like I like I'm going with these though they're right in the middle these are Barracuda H&M Barracuda greens they're 6.5 grain right in between both of them and they're hitting uh, almost 600 and they they're uh, got enough weight to punch through some nice tin you know I, I kind of like speed but uh, they're still hitting 2.43 foot pounds which is this was 2.5 with these with this gun anyway uh, this gun hits in the threes actually so oh, I forgot to bring my list for you I'm all confused now but I do know this this gun here hit 628 with these the four grains but uh, and it was 2.3 or what was it this was 2.3 I can't remember anyway I should have brought that list but uh, this thing shoots fast man I do know it was 628 feet per second with these pellets so now we're going to do a little shooting here today show you this uh, modification I did just take this thing off man it's just uh more of a gimmick really it's kind of cool but it won't stay still even on this gun it just wobbles so we'll uh get it ready to shoot and i'll show you the accuracy of this thing's much better all right be back in a sec all right i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do here i just sighted it in there's the sight in the last couple of here were uh, co2 was dropping but i sighted it in with the uh, rws diabolo basic seven greens so we're gonna do the crossman premieres here rws the shoot right here the crossman ssps the supersonic ones the four grain ones and then we'll do the h and n alloys here and to see if the sight end stays pretty much the same we are at 12 yards i'll be shooting from the front of my hood there 12 yards so uh that is the h and n so far i had a couple over here there's one there i turned the sight in the wrong way <laughs> all right we'll be back in a second and get this thing underway all right so here we go we got a uh, one of these one side's full of uh, alloy, lighter alloy, a little heavier alloy. One of these, got two lead, one's Premier's, one's the RWS. Seven grain, eight grain, four grain, 6.5 grain. So we'll start with the heavy stuff. Premier's first. Fresh CO2. See how she does. Turn the siding off. All right, we're doing the center target.
We'll do four shots. All right, so uh, looks like they're all in the orange. There goes a pellet. <laughs> a little loose. Oh, that was the RWS pellets. They fit a little looser in here. All right. Where is the RWS? There it is. All right, we'll shoot it. Camera's moving. I'm gonna slide off my hood. All right. There's the lead test. Four shots each. Let's go look at what we got here. Twelve yards. About even, really. Center point, or uh, center point. Crossman Premiers, four shots. RWS, four shots. A little tighter on the Premiers, maybe. Pretty even, though, really. Pretty even. Let's try some alloys. Crossman, four grains. H&N, 6.5 grains. Let's see about that one. All right, we'll be back in a sec. All right, first up is the H&N uh, alloy pellets. Four shots. Oops, I can't tell where that's hitting actually. I do not see that on the orange. All right, we'll try the Crossman's. Really lightweight, four greeners. Looks like if you sight it in for lead, the uh, alloys might be off. You gotta pick a weight, maybe. We'll see here. Definitely shooting different lead and alloy. All right, let's go take a look here. Oh, there we go. We got them. Okay, I just didn't see it from that far back. There's the H&Ns. There's one, two, three, four. Crossman Premiers. One, two, two together. Three and four. So what's conclusion here? Conclusion is do not use the stock setup to put that sight on that Gamo SOCOM. If you can, do what I did. All right, let's go back and uh, wrap it up. All right, so wrapping it up here, uh, the point of this video was don't use this if you want accuracy. This is cool. It's kind of like a gimmick. It might work on real guns, but, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do to tighten it up to get a good group. Like I said, that was, that was what I started with. Ridiculous. Even freehand was uh, better. But you saw the groups I just did with this setup. It's mounted solid on there. It's pretty good. So we did 12 yard shot. They're all pretty equal, all pellets, which is good. You can shoot all these different ones what you want. So a little correction on the beginning of the video. I said two, two and a half foot pounds. That was with this gun here. Uh, this is uh, in the, uh, you know, about a foot pound heavier with the added extra six inch barrel. This is a true 12 inch barrel in this thing. If you screw this off, there'll be a barrel sticking out all the way to here. So this is six, this is 12, and you add about a foot pound, maybe 1.2, depending on which pellet you shoot. So this is in the 2.3 to 2.5 foot pound range with all four of these. This is about 3.3 uh, to three and a half with the extra speed. You know, it averages 100 feet per second faster, which is pretty cool. This is, this is just an awesome little gun. It won't fit in the holster with this, but this is hitting, uh, what did I hit? Gosh, I should have brought my list. Maybe I have to take a picture of it and show you at the end of the video when I get back home. You know, this is the way to go if you want accuracy. You saw the difference. You saw the difference. Love these Gamo pistols, man. I would recommend getting them. They are just extreme quality. This is metal here, metal slide. Good quality plastic. Look at this. Even the end. Looks like you don't see the tw uh, 17 caliber barrel in there, do you? I put my, I have a 9mm bullet I slid in there and it's slides red, so it looks like a 
pretty much the size of a 9mm. That is pretty cool. Uh, the gamma makes really good pistols. Alright, so this concludes the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care, folks.